What's up guys, this is Alex from Alex20 Productions and I'm going to be teaching you how to do this effect right here. Call of Duty Montage Effect also known as the Puzzle Effect in Sony Vegas. Now you do need Sony Vegas Pro 8, 9, or 10. Uh, if you use Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum then you can't really do this, do this effect because you need the masking option in order to do the effect. So I have my footage right here and make sure your project video properties are HD 720p or 1080p, doesn't really matter. Apply it, okay. So I have my footage here and you want to go to the part where you want the effect to be. So mine is at the beginning of this video and make sure your settings are preview settings are set to best and full and then once you're at the part you want to do the effect on click save snapshot to file go to desktop save it and then you have your image now the effect usually takes about three seconds three or two seconds so you want to uh, decrease the image duration to three seconds and then you want to join the two footage, the footage and the image together. So add about three more video tracks. You can do more depending on how many objects you want to mask. And then for every 20 or for every half seconds, you want to uh, have another piece of the image coming in so if you go here to about 20 set right here click on the image control hold control and then pull the image up this will duplicate the image and then every I don't know second or half second you want the image to duplicate so I'm just gonna randomly Copy the image. Okay, so here at where the image and footage is connected, you want to make all the images that length or, or up to that point. And then on the bottom image, the first image that's going to come in, you want to go to the event pan crop button, click it, and then click the masking option. Now you can do several different puzzle effects, you know, like the zigzag, all that kind of stuff. But the thing is, if you do this, then on the second image, you have to do the same exact opposite, and it's really hard to get the exact uh, kind of mask as this without looking at this window so the best way to do it is mask specific objects in the image so such as this fence I'm gonna mask it so add the points now the masking doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be a rough uh, rough mask of what you want in the image so there's going to be four parts to or four pieces of this image that I want them to join together and once you mask it you want to go to feather type both feather percent three percent and this will basically smooth out the edges of the image now if you go to the second image uh, click mask you basically do the same thing except you don't mask this part the fence because I already mas masked it in the first image so you want to mask a different object so I'm just gonna mask the ground along with the gun do the same thing and then see how the image kind of joins together now you do this for the next two images now you want to on the last image you want to make sure all the images are present in the final part 
so let's finish up this masking. So that's the basic effect of this little montage effect. Now let's preview it. So see how the image comes together. Now if you want the ind individual pieces coming in with the transition effect, all you have to do is fade it in, fade each image in with this amount of fading and then go to your transition tab and the best transitions for this are or the best and traditional transitions for this are the push now after you apply all the transitions you're basically done so this is the final product And that's it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you want more tutorials like this, please like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, tell other people about my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.